Right now, we face an environmental challenge of global proportions, which requires drastic action by corporations and governments with a very small window of time. So we can no longer speak about climate change as some possibility. It is no longer a matter of choice. Climate change is inevitable and it's already happening. Our work has resulted in a detailed body of in-depth evidence on corporate compliance with environmental laws and regulations. Full Disclosure 5 analyzes the extent to which the companies comply with the TCFD recommendations. In 2015, we looked at how even seemingly progressive companies violated environmental laws in their approach to managing environmental, social and governance factors. At the moment, our goal is to try and keep temperatures as low as possible and to mitigate the impacts of the physical and transitional risks of climate change. Now, Full Disclosure 5 is quite different from our previous Full Disclosure series. It draws attention to the huge issue of climate risk um, and the risk that climate change and global warming uh, poses to South African corporates, shareholders and of course in particular the um, communities affected by those companies' activities. The people who actually carry the burden and the output of climate change are the poor. Climate change is the single biggest risk facing the South African economy and South Africa's ability to develop and be prosperous. This kind of partnership enables CR to work directly with communities in advancing advocacy. Finally, banks are becoming aware of their role in this entire system. So we're hoping to place companies under pressure, but we're also hoping to work with them. And this is because civil society, governments, communities are saying, we will divest if you continue along this path.